Hi Jane. Um, I thought I'd just like um, give you something that's like venting on my mind. Um, I went to town um, a few days ago with an academic and um, they were in mother care and they were saying like, oh Lucy, you know that um, the government's introducing the 5p, um, what's it called, 5p bags and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, yeah, I know. And I was like, they're like, it's a, it's a base bad. And I agree, yes, it is bad, but I can understand why they want to introduce it and stuff like that, right? By the way, that's, that's my street. This is Lewis. Um, so I, I understand why they're doing it. And I didn't think anything more of it when she was, when we were talking about it. But anyway, what happened was, is she was saying, well, it's, it's a bit bad that I've just paid, um, however much she did pay, I can't remember. But she said, that, um, oh no, sorry. Well, yeah. Right, I'll get to the point. <laughs> she was saying that um, on the, the cash, the cash person, the checkout woman, she was saying that in um, on the fifth of fifth of October, obviously the government's introducing the five um, p bag bag thing, so that if you want a bag, you're gonna have to pay five p. And my parents have got their own business; they've been doing this for ages now. <laughs> that if you want to have anything, you've got to have a minimum spend of so much. So say for example, you only spend a fiver and you need a bag, then yes, of course, then you should be charged 5p. But what the, but, um, what the academic was saying, well, if I spend 200 pounds, um, would I be charged 5p for a bag? To which the cash, out, cash checkout assistant said, yes, government's interested in false stuff. Um, if you need a bag or something, and I was reading it in the Tele Daily Telegraph, if you need a bag, but you're going to be charged 5p. Well, I was thinking about it the other day. I spent probably about two grand's worth of stuff on that Mac, which is shit, by the way. Um, and I bought a new iPhone. And um, I don't know why, but they didn't want to give me a bag. And I just said to them, like, can I have a bag please? And they gave me a bag. And I was just thinking like, yeah, if you were to spend about two grand's worth of stuff, and then be like, two, pound, two grand please, would you like a bag? Okay, that'd be two grand and five P please. And I just think I've spent two grand with you and you're not gonna give me a bag for free. That is appalling, that is, right? And the government, they're saying that the local high street is dying. Well, just think, if you were to do two grand's worth of shopping, do you have to consider 5p worth of post and packaging? No, you spend two grand. So you're going to get it delivered to your house, where it's going to cost for free. And usually they do next day delivery and stuff like that, especially when you spend that amount of money. But even if it was like 200 quid, if I did 200 quid's worth of shopping in, I don't know, Jack Wills, um, Top Shop, Top Man, uh, Top Shop, Top Man or whatever, R River Island, all these shops, if I was to do... 200 quid's worth of stuff, shopping. I mean, I think even 50 quid's worth of shopping on the high street is quite a luxury, I suppose, because you people don't spend that amount of money um, every single day. So you spend 500 quid, uh, 50 quid in, in a shop in River Island, say, and it's gonna be like, well, would you like a bag with your clothes that you've just bought, a brand new, would you like a bag with them? Well, yes, because I'm not gonna carry them down the high street. I'm not gonna wear them all that day. Um, so yes, I'd like a bag. So that's 50 quid and 5p. Come on, the government really needs to think about this because they're killing off the high street. They really are. Because, yes, I understand that if you're just going in there for like, I don't know, a quid's worth of stuff or, I don't know, tenner. But what we need, obviously you need to cap it to certain stores. But this sort of stuff is not going to, um, this is going to have a knock-on effect on the high street. I really do think it is. Because I, just, I, I completely understand. I do completely understand. I bet even clothes though, I mean, if I even bought some boxes, um, I wouldn't be expected to be charged 5p for for a bag to how to clothe, to... I just, like for example, if I go to university, I think, oh, I'm in town. I don't think, oh, um, I need a bag with me because I'm gonna go, gonna go and do that one-off shop where I think, oh, actually, I'm in town, so I'll just do that right now. What I'm saying is I'll just unexpectedly go into town and be like, oh, well, I'm already at university. It's already in the city centre. That I will then go into town and be like, oh, well, I'll go and get them as well. Um, 
shopping, as in like grocery shopping, I, I am notorious. I always bring my own bags with me and um, I always do that sh that kind of shop. I always um, have bags with me. Um, but in terms of things like that, I just think it's, it's insulting um, to hear that if, if you want a bag with your brand new clothes or I don't know. I just, and, and like bookshops, they're going to go off. People are not going to walk around. Um, with their books and stuff like that. So they're going to introduce the 5p, char 5p charge. And when people are just going to be like, well, I can get this online for free. I mean, I mean, can get the, the packaging for free. They're killing off the high street, the government are. And I just think this is something that they really haven't thought through. So I just thought I wanted to vent it out with you. And I hope it makes sense because, like, I am quite long-winded on my answers. So anyway, I'll speak to you in a bit. Bye.